it's dinner time. So let's check it out, huh? Wow. Amazing. Get out of the shadow. Gonna be delicious. All right. So just finishing up with the Q-tipping, the dust out. Uh, got pretty good results here. I'm really happy with everything. We went up through all the fretboard and all that up into uh, the, the top of the neck and around the keys and everything. So I was pretty happy with the results. Um, probably not going to go much further, but we just hit the spaces with the Q-tip that we couldn't reach with the microfiber towel and just dusted everything off, blew on it, make sure, you know, give it up nice and clean. There wasn't anything... Um, really really nasty on the guitar it's really just been sitting in the basement for a little while so you know it just needed dusted nice um, this isn't like a refinishing video or uh, anything like that we're just restringing the guitar and we're probably gonna put this first set of strings on and just see how the guitar feels and plays and gets adjusted to um, these hybrid strings and then later on we might go back in and adjust a few things like the truss rod or the bridge or you know whatnot but for now we're just restringing the guitar cleaning it up a little bit making it look good and uh, nice and clean to get a good feel on how it plays so we'll probably put the first set of strings on and then within the next uh, couple weeks or maybe um, you know a whole session of playing the guitar kind of get a better feel on how it plays we'll make some adjustments you know down here later but right now this set of strings, I've played the guitar a few times, but this set of strings, I just can't get a full feel on it. So we're just going to put a nice fresh set of strings and uh, dust it off and clean it up a little bit and go from there. So let's uh, go ahead and remove the first string. All right. We're going to start unwinding uh, the key. Uh, you can get an unwinding tool. I've never really felt that that is necessary for me. Uh, just turn it a few times, twist. that and you're good to go so unwinding tool I mean maybe if you're like professional restringer like you're needed to do this extremely fast otherwise you can just unwind the key pull the string out boom done let's go down here to the uh, base pull this out now one thing is grab a hold of the string before you start pulling because it gets scratched right across your surface and that's gonna suck so hang on to that, get a little help from the Badger Lord over here. We're just going to bring it to the end, yeah, and then we're just going to go real slow as we take it out, make sure we don't scratch in any finish, boom. First string removed, all right, now what do we do? Put the next string in. All right, super important when you're taking your strings apart. These are super delicate until they get onto the guitar and when you can wail on it and shred on it and slam on them, but before they you put them in, you want to be delicate as possible with it. So just real easy taking them out of the package. Um, go ahead and untwist the wine that they have on them nice and slow. And just let the string stretch out by itself. Don't ever try to force a string. Hurry in this process nice and slow. The string will come out by itself. You don't want any extra bends or anything like that in the string. All right, let's switch camera views. So the strings out of the package, we're really delicate, take, careful taking it out. Don't try to ever force it open or unwound. Uh, but we have it uh, pulled out here in full length. All right, so you're just going to pull this part back down here and lay it out. And then we're going to find the first hole in the seat and bridge. Go across that nice and easy so we get all the way down to the brass. And then we'll make sure that's nice and parked there. Put it over our first nut, run it down the fretboard. All right, and then we're going to turn our keyhole, or our tuning peg, so the keyhole is right there. Slide the string in. Again, when you're moving this way, make sure that the string moves on its own and is freely, and you're not forcing it in any direction, because any bend or crank or kink in the string is going to give you a buzz as soon as it hits any part of the fretboard. All right, and we set this in the nut, okay? We're going to pull the string pretty nice and taut. Set the nut there. And then we're going to pinch on the first fretboard, and we're going to come back one fret and just a little extra. 
Right, then we're going to bend up the string. And now, our first wrap is going to go over top on our uh, more base set strings. So we're going to go over the top. All right, then we're going to bend our string up. And as we wind, we're going to hold our string down and we're going to go underneath that first wrap. All right, so on these three bass strings, this is how we're going to string the guitar. We're going to pull it out, one and a half frets down, bend it, and then we're going to start tuning. So we have one wrap above the string coming out the peg, and then the second one's going to go underneath. And for these bass strings, perfect. Except we're on the wrong side. So we have the string running over top and inside down to the, to the nut. We have it wrapped around this, this string once and then it's going underneath. All right, so that's going to lock in these bass strings. We make sure we've been there. And then we just start tightening it up until it sits in the nut nice. Oh, this is the most important part. So we're going to take a little bit of the pencil and we're just going to go ahead and color in everything that you can on inside that little nut bar there. All right, we're going to make sure we don't leave any graphite chunks, but we're going to just color it in. This will get, this will make keep the uh, strings from giving a buzz. All right, so we'll go ahead and set that string in. Make sure we're seated down here. Guitar strings all the way in. And we'll just continue to tighten. All right, and we'll just get it to where it sits in there freely. We'll tune it in a minute. We'll just let it sit. You can decide if you want to go outside, inside, but this string seems to want to wrap this way. So we're just going to pull it in, snip it off. And just tuck it down. We'll tune it in a minute. All right, so we repeated our process with the, th the three low strings, six by four. Okay, those are our wound strings this time. In this package, there's wound strings. Now we're going to our straight strings, uh, which is going to be the high three. All right, we're going to repeat the same exact process. All right, remove the string, gently unpackage the new string, wind it out, put it through, Make sure it's uh, through all the contact points. Get to the post. Straighten out the... Keyhole. Alright. So line that up. But this time we're going to have two wraps on our string. So two around the top. Then two then start underneath before you start winding. This is just going to, uh, those higher non-wound strings is just going to um, put an extra lap over top and uh, make those sit in. So any unwound strings, whether it's the top three, top, or, or you know, high three, high two, um, those we're going to double wrap the top, come down, and then begin our wind underneath the double wrap. So we'll show you what I mean here. Let's go. Our string through the bridge would come up to the nut. We're going to feed through the keyhole and the tuning peg. We're going to stretch our string all the way out. All right, we're going to make sure it's still into the bridge and it's set in the nut. All right, let's go ahead and put a little graphite in. All right. And blow it out, make sure any chunks are going to make a buzz, but having that little bit of graphite in there will keep from a buzz as well. So we set everything in the nut, and then we're going to pull back two frets, two full frets on the higher strings. All right, put our bend in. Make sure we're wrapping the correct way. We're going to do two wraps across above the string. And sometimes it's a little difficult to get it in there. Okay. 
I'm murdering it. What a bitch. Sometimes they just don't want to go. But you just gotta make them. There we go. Two reps. All right. Bend up. And then we're going to tighten and hold it down until it goes underneath. Tighten up, make sure everything's set and the nut and the bridge and all that. And this will hold your string in place really nicely. All right, we're going to finish up the guitar and we're going to play for you. All right, last thing before we tune her up. And we're all having Badger's amazing trilly because it's so fucking good. All right, and all right, so just to set the strings, all right, I like to take my finger and place it just under the string like that. All right. And then just kind of work it up a little bit. Right. Okay, just pick the string just up off the fretboard. I'm going to sit that in, hit the nut. Right. Right. We don't want to, these are slinky, so you don't want to go crazy. Like, mm, all right, that'll, it'll play in. Plus, we got to tune it still, but we just give it a little bit, you know, just like a finger underneath, give it a little flex. Finger underneath, give it a little flex. Finger underneath, give it a little flex. That's plenty for slinkies. Plenty. Trust me. All right, they'll play in. Okay. We're going to finish this last string, tune her up, and then we'll just play a little jam for you guys. See you in a minute after we eat chili and drink a beer. Here's some cleans and a little dirty. We're just gonna do a little easier.